Hey guys, it's Danny. I'm back and today I have a quick chit chat get ready with me video. It's just, I'm just going to be doing what I normally do like when I want to get ready quickly or if I just want a nice simple like quick natural look. This is what I usually do. Now just a little warning, this my quick lazy makeup takes me like apparently 20 or 25 minutes. <laughs> I don't know but that's just how it ended up. And um... Yeah, so I'm just going to show you how I do this quick and easy look right here, and I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, the first thing we're going to start out with is a BB cream. I usually, when I do something quick or just something I don't want heavy, I'll do my BB cream. This is by Garnier, and it's just called Skin Renew Miracle Skin Perfector, and my shade is in light medium. It only comes in two or three shades, if I'm not mistaken. I think it's light medium, medium, and then medium dark. I'm not sure but I'm just gonna put that on my face and I usually just put a little bit right here a little bit of this stuff goes a long way and I love this stuff you would not think that a BB cream would be that great but it has really good coverage and I'm just gonna put that on my flat top synthetic brush and just I like to put that all over my face just you know now you can get a really really full coverage with this I'm not gonna lie like you can get just as good a coverage with this as you can with my Revlon color stay and this is just with one really light layer of this BB cream and obviously I think it's done really good I mean you can still see like my acne spots which is which is expected I mean it's not like a full coverage foundation or anything it's just a BB cream but for such a liquidy BB cream and for the price it really gives you good coverage but I'm not gonna apply a second later layer I can sometimes I do but I'm just gonna go in with my Maybelline fit me concealer and this is in the shade 10 light because you know I'm white I'm gonna embrace my paleness. I don't know if anybody else feels that way, but I did tan. At one point, I tanned. I went tanning for uh, my boyfriend left for the Navy, and I wanted to be like all tan for him when he got back, you know. Left for the Navy, and I tanned for like that three weeks he was gone, just so I could be tan when he came back. And then he came back earlier than expected. I'd only been tanning for three weeks, okay? My skin felt like leather. It was disgusting. Now, I'm not saying I didn't feel great. I felt fabulous when I was tan. My self-esteem boosted significantly. But I just thought about it and I was like, mm, it's not really worth it to me. It's not worth the risk and it's not worth me aging significantly. It's like, I'll just deal with my pale skin. All good to go. I'm going to take this Wet n Wild Fergie Take on the Day Mattifying, Mattifying, Mattifying Powder. I'm, just, I'm going to take my e.l.f. powder brush. looks like this. Just get that in there and I'm just going to pat that on my face. So I'm just going to put on some bronzer and I'm going to take this Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer and it's in medium and I don't mean to be weird, but if anyone has ever had this, it smells just like chocolate and if you're like me and it smells like chocolate you want to see if it tastes like chocolate too <laughs> it tastes like chocolate I've had to stop myself a few times in the middle of putting on makeup just so I won't eat it <laughs> moving along just a little bit and I'm gonna go right here other side Alright, that looks good to me. This stuff smells so good. And I actually got this in my Ipsy subscription, so I didn't have to pay for this technically. And it's a really good amount too. So, 
Because I'm not paying $40 for a bronzer. Mm -mm, nope, not happening. Okie dokie, moving along to the eyes. I'm just going to use my Milani eyeshadow primer. Just because I'll, sometimes my BB cream or foundation will crease. And I just want to get that right there. And you definitely want to pat this in, not rub it in. Okay, that's good. This is Maybelline in Perfect Pastel. Looks like that. It's just nice and light. And then in the crease, I will take another one in Cinnamon Spice. Just looks like that. I'm just going to take my e.l.f. eyeshadow brush and take this all over color and just put it all over the lid. And then I will take my e.l.f. blending eye brush and go into the cinnamon spice just with a little bit and just go right here in the crease. And just do like a very light little crease shadow right there. I'm just going to go in with my simple eyeliner, Carbon Black by L'Oreal, and just put that in my tight line. I hate that part. Oh, I hate that. And then I'm just going to go to my waterline. And drag that about halfway. And then I'll just take my smudging brush and smudge that out a little bit. And now I'm just going to go in with some e.l.f. dollar liquid eyeliner. There we go. And for mascara, I'm going to be using my Maybelline The Rocket and the darkest color, color they have, of course, black. I'm just going to go in I just feel like if my lashes don't look fabulous, I just I feel naked. Okay, and for my eyebrows, I'm just going to be taking this spoolie brush. Just brush those out. Make sure they look nice and neat. I'm not going to line them or anything. I'm just going to take my brow gel from e.l.f. and just get those to comb and set them for the day. Okay, and I think they look pretty good. Now, don't be judging my uneven eyebrows because your eyebrows are supposed to be sisters, not twins. 
and this is just the way they naturally are. I can wax this one some more and I can not wax this one as much. They will still be complete opposites. <laughs> okay, so that's my eyebrows, my entire eyes done. Last but not least, the lips. I'm just gonna go in with this waterproof lip liner for BH Cosmetics in Nude. And just put that on my lips. And your lip liner does not do me perfect. top of my lip liner I'm gonna take my wet and wild matte lipstick and bare it all and just go over top of that Okay, that is the completed look. It's just, this might be a little bit more than natural for some people, but this is like the quickest makeup I can do, unless I'm just slapping on BB cream and mascara. That's the quickest I do, but this is like, I want to look presentable, but I don't want to spend an hour doing my makeup kind of thing. So this is what I'll do. Um, it's just, you know, nice and simple, to me at least. Nude lip, not too much on the eyes. Just a little bit of bronzer and that's it if you want to see how I do my hair like this this is my go-to hairstyle I wear it in a bun 98 percent of the time if you know me personally you know this is this is what I'm known for at work is the bun hair I've had at least 10 or 15 girls from work ask me how I get my hair in this bun and no I do not use a sock bun I don't use the little bun kits you can get from Walmart there is nothing in here there's just it's nothing there's Yep, there's nothing in there. It's just my hair. So if you want to see how I get this look, just let me know, and I might just do a video on that anyway. But um, this is the complete look. I hope you guys enjoyed, and subscribe for more videos. Bye.